oh, puke in your mouth. Great. We are back for workout 17, just cruising along. Apologies for that piss off autofocus in the last two sets of last workout. I'm definitely not going back and doing that over again to make it clear. That got me curious, what are you guys watching these workouts on? Phone, tablet, TV, computer screen? Let me know so I can start thinking about how the graphics actually look on the uh, bigger screen. Also, always ask questions, comment below on anything that's working, not working. If you just perpetually don't have the right equipment for a move, I can comment below and give you something else. Otherwise, appreciate you being here. Let's get into the soul crusher or the crusher of soul workout today. The Bulgarian split squat is back. Ooh, with high volume. If you remember how that 1.5 Bulgarian felt, <sighs> ooh, ooh. Lock that into muscle memory and go into this a little careful with how much weight you want to lift. So today, two parts. We have four sets in the first, three in the second. It's a little quicker in the second. In the first part, the Bulgarian split squat with no tempo, all the weight you want to lift, 20 per leg, nasty, 15 per leg, 10 per leg, eight per leg. After that, it's pull up. We want high volume, so I'm gonna be using the biggest band, the green band, for just as many chest of bars as I can in a row. Then we have it off a bench, the bird dog row, a little bit of anti-rotation, core stability with that movement. And the modification video, if you don't have a bench yet, is on the side. So you're kind of just standing on one leg trying to balance as we do that. Those are gonna be around. Pull ups in those rows about 10 per side. We'll see, or 10 total reps. We'll see how far we get. Part two is three components. I'm gonna use double kettlebell and a front squat, lunge, lunge complex. About six total uh, reps of that. We've been doing a lot of squat into reverse lunge. Hmm, interesting. So two dumbbells work, a barbell still works. I'll be using double kettlebell. After that, we have two core components. We have the side plank dumbbell snatch and we have side plank knee to elbow, and we'll try 10 reps per side with both of those. So let's get into that warm up. You'll need a mat, the bench you're doing your Bulgarian split squats off of, or the sofa, whatever you have nearby, your pull up bar, or the place you're slinging your band up high for doing your row modifications. And again, eventually I'm gonna stop saying you have to go buy it. I'm just gonna start doing the moves I wanna be doing, and you'll be behind noticing you can't keep up or do the modifications anymore. So go out and get those bands and bars. Okay, we're gonna start on the ground with those lazy pigeon fold overs. So just get down now and start passively folding over yourself. If you have a bench, you can also throw your leg up onto it and it gets your bottom leg below level. And that uh, is a little more intense. Great to do outside of workouts as well when you just need to stretch your glutes out. Okay, keep going with this one. Anyone still feeling some hamstring soreness from last workout? I'll give you one, one move to help stretch that out before we get going. Uh, gonna move quick, switch to the other side. About six to 10 of these. Okay, and I always tell you guys to try to spend time in a squat, that three minute per day passive low squat. You also want to start working on a lot of that ankle mobility. So we'll pop up, open the leg up, start stretching to feel the Achilles stretch down here. Anyone super tall like me, guys or girls, I'm up at 6'4". Ankle mobility you definitely need or you're, you, we are crap squatters for life. So you have to work that range. Think about knee passing toe. We did that with the upright once before. You have to get that ultimate range to get depth in the squat and the single leg movements. Awesome. Switch side. So in front, open 90 degrees. Close to you is the Achilles stretch. Far away is more groin stretch. So find the happy medium. And you need to just keep that heel pinned and see how far that knee goes past the toe. I'm probably blocking myself with the upright, no problem. And I guess one move before this for skill level on the ankles, if you're really tight, is just lots of that calf pulsing. Just stretch the legs out like so. And I always say that, especially the runners. I've seen a lot of really good runners be really crappy squatters just because 
of tight, tight ankles. Okay, grabbing on to an upright if you need to, or just passively sitting down in that squat. We're gonna do a little squat floss. So from here, keep your head low, but drive your hamstrings up to a lock and back down, lock back down, keep going and free space. You come down, you put your fingertips under your toes and then without crunching them, ugh, you come up, big rounded back, try to work reps to get those hamstrings almost locking out or knee joint almost locking out. Back can be as rounded as possible and then you can sink right back into an upright squat position like this if you can, pushing the knees out. It's a lovely stretch, oh baby. Otherwise, holding on for mercy on an upright, that lets you lean back a little further. Three more, one, down, two, down, boom. Okay, we're gonna revisit the legs to pump up the uh, muscles for the Bulgarian. So, upright on the bar, you're reaching up to your bar now, gripping or you've looped a band. There's something called banded distraction and you can kind of mimic this just holding on to whatever you need to hold on to, but it's four positions. First one is facing your band. So if you can loop this up, we're doing scap retractions. Okay, same thing as the scap push up on the ground. Now we can do it standing and it's just quick 10 reps. Okay, so if you're holding on to anything, same thing, you can just kind of lean back and get some power there. Then we fold over, try to draw the lat down and up, down and up without bending. We're not rowing the arm, just small, quick movements. Three, two, one. Go, we open up for the pecs. So same thing if you're just holding onto an upright or a wall, anything works. Open the pecs up and just kind of pulse in, out. Boom, I give a little wrist turn in the band, just like that. And again, I love banded warm-up work, but I haven't been doing any of it for the first video so far. Just kind of assuming people are still gathering their equipment. Uh, and last one is sniff the armpit underneath. So if you're against an upright, just reach across and grab that upright and then fall away and get that lat stretch. Uh, right, so it's, what was I saying? I love the power band distraction movements. This is creating a little more space in the joints called distraction, which gives you way more range of motion. Your arms feel way more free after these patterns, but you usually need a band looped to something to really master the movement. Okay, the same four quickly on this side. If you have to hold on, go for that. Okay, posture up, 10, scap row. Okay, no elbow pulling. We're just using the smaller muscles. Three, two, one. Leaning over, try to draw the lat down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Open up, open the chest up. One, two, as I fall away, get tighter, I open the palm to the ceiling. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good, sniff the armpit, come through and under. Get a big stretch there, back foot goes behind you, and you can pulse, you can fall away, fall away, fall away. If I didn't have the band, I'm just holding on like so, falling away, and trying to get a little movement and stretch into every little pulse I'm doing. Uh, awesome. Okay, and then scat pull up. We've done scat push ups a bunch. Jump up onto your bar for this one if you just have the band. You're looping from wherever you can, leaning over, and it's gonna be just the draw down of double lats and up. Make it really challenging on the band. If we're hanging here, watch me, no elbows. Lats up, down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is really hard to control in the beginning, and then you get a lot better at it. Your elbows always wanna to try to bend to pull you up. Just use the lats. Piece of cake. Okay, last thing we'll do is a little priming for the Bulgarian split squat. So remember, we're taking our baby step forward. Shouldn't be any difficulty to flop that leg back. And we're dropping straight down and up over top of the front foot. We're not so far that we're fishing for the bench and getting a big stretch in our back hip. Okay, let's just go 10. 
nine, eight, no tempo, no one and a half reps today. Just going straight for victory, straight for gold. You'll see how light I'm staying on the bar. I've done this enough times to know you're gonna be crippled no matter what you try to do for weight. Second leg for 10. And again, I showed you that modification video already, holding on to something or keeping a broomstick in front of you to help maintain your balance. That's it, ooh, that was screaming. And we have 20 per leg coming up. I'll see you guys in the first set. Bulgarian split squats, your pull-ups, and a dumbbell for rowing. Okay, we're in for set one. I have my barbell for Bulgarian squats. You might be going body weight or holding two leg dumbbells, all is fine. The pull-up bar with my green band or your banded pull-down modification. And then I have an old school 35 pound dumbbell ready for my bird dog row, which I'll show you when we get there. Here we go, 20 per leg, Bulgarian. Split squat is not gonna feel nice. I'm stepping over this. Feel free to go back and forth between the legs if you can't do 20 in a row. So just 45 pounds, empty bar to start. No tempo. Five, no wobbling of that front leg. Light back leg. Let's split it up just for kicks. Go on the opposite side. Nine, ten, that's halfway. Back to first leg. Again, not fishing. Left foot should just be right there. burning ah, 10 Woo! not gonna feel good Awkward back up over the bench. Boom, boom, good, good. So bird dog row, modification if you don't have the bench. The side you're rowing with is the knee you're putting on the bench. Right on the edge, other hand grabs the opposite edge of the bench. Free leg kicks, strong heel, laser straight behind you. Okay, no tempo as well, brace. Row and control the wobble. Just 10, that was actually pretty light for me. This bent leg up on the bench cannot grip with the toe. So it's flat on the bench or hanging fully off the back. Switching side, I'll just spin around. Okay, no gripping with that foot. Ooh. Kick the back leg straight, brace. Whoa. There's 10. I just went out of order. That's stupid. Order doesn't matter. I'll switch that for the second set. Okay, your pull-ups in the bird dog row, whatever it is, I'm pull-ups now. <sighs> ah, full hang, full chest the bar. Hopefully double digits. Going way up.
no swinging. Ah, 12, set, done. A little more weight. I'll probably go to 65 pounds for the split squat. I'm gonna reverse this order. They compound each other so your arms and grip strength get shot. See you back for set two. Okay, we're back for set two, 15 per leg, 65 pounds, pull-ups, hopefully for double digits, and the bird dog roll, I'm up to 40 pounder uh, for 10 per side. So walking this puppy out, I'm gonna do 10, 10, five, five. Full depth, full range, my knee hits the floor. Yeah. If you've never done Bulgarians, I advise body weight only. Hitting that stupid dumbbell I just put there. Six. Eight. Nine. Five more per side. Heavy front foot, light back foot. Be with one kettlebell, dumbbells, doesn't matter. Okay, awkward step over, racket. Ah, get ready for our pull ups. For your banded pull downs. Oh, catch my breath. Very high volume on the buggery. I was slipping on this bar. It's like there's humidity in here. Okay, band on the opposite foot. Okay, here we go. Full hang, strict. You can definitely use double band. Or you're just standing on your feet on a box or something and using your legs to assist. Oh, start with my left. Okay, so counterintuitive. Put the same knee on the bench. Don't let that ankle grip anything. Brace that weight, flex your glutes. I look like a statue. Whoa. Excellent. Excellent. This is normally what you want to do. Boom. Boom, like our tripod setup. So tell the brain, not today. The second side. Kick that back leg stiff. Don't let your gripping foot help here. Get that out of the way. Set two done, let's keep it rolling. Set three coming up.
Back for set three. Is anyone cranking tunes out there? Don't forget, I always put that playlist of the workout of the day into the description. 75 pounds for 10 per leg now. Third set. Stepping over, we're gonna start this leg first. Audio, audio. My mic's batteries are low, so I'm keeping track there. Gotta work a little harder now. Eight. Nine. Nice strong flex at the top. Ten. Let that flush. Feel the bench. Two, flex the top. Six. Eight. Nine. Ten. Step over with opposite leg. Back up, no looking. Drop. Uh, uh, that one hurts. Get your air back. That's a brutal one, demands a lot. Moment of silence. Moment of silence. Uh, okay, back to first foot. Whew. Nice wide grip. Double digits if you can. Nine. Ah, all the way up. Chest touch bar. Get this band out of the way. I'll just start on this side because that's where the dumbbell is. Okay, right on the edge of the bench. Grip other side of the bench. Get that dumbbell. And wake up the stabilizer core. Six, not too fast. Ten. Keep it going. Keep it going. Don't chew that back foot. Don't cheat. Uh, oh, water break breather. One more round to go. Woo. Okay, I'm rushing my rest a little bit, trying to play beat the clock here. Eight per leg final. I went up to 85 pounds. Everything else is the same. Stepping over. Kick right behind the hip, right in line with it. Light back leg. Oh, geez. Ooh. Uh, 
Oh, stupid dumbbell. God. Four. Ooh. Ooh. Five. Six. Seven. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, give me a moment. Give me a moment. Oh. Hmm. I got nothing. I have nothing. Oh. Nowhere to speak with. Oh. Trying to go 10 here, might be 8, 9, or 10. Hmm. Band uh, down. Audio check. Wide grip. Start with the lats, and then the arms take over. Ah, uh, six. Come on, come on, come on. Brace, grip. Eight, oh, nine. That's it. I wouldn't be able to get 10 without getting real sloppy. Oh. Starting on this side, final 10 reps, and we're out of the part one. Don't let this back leg cheat. Brace. Oh. Uh, slow and steady. Don't hit the bench with the dumbbell. Oh. Oh. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's it. We're going to clean up water break. You need single or double dumbbell or kettlebell or barbell implement and I'm out on the ground. See you back for part two. Okay, back for part two, a quick three sets. I have my two kettlebells, a mat, and I forgot the light dumbbell you need for the dumbbell plank snatch. So here we go. Pick it up. One squat, lunge, lunge. Squat, lunge, lunge six times. Cleaning that up. Nice front squat. One. Of course, we have more legs. Put a little yoga mat behind you. If you need to tap your knees down and it's hurting. I have no feeling in mine. It was a little awkward because of the mic placement. Whoa, lightheaded. Whoa. Get yourself to the ground. Okay, you can see me down here. So, easy side plank is bottom leg down. Dumbbell, slight rotation snatches to ceiling. 
Temper side. Top leg can go in front of bottom. Eight, nine. Oh, just gonna flip over. Excuse the view. Eight, nine, ten. Uh, dumbbell comes back. No dumbbell now. Same thing. Knee can be down to make this easy. We're still up, elevated. We're going to actually crunch elbow to the knee. So up, not doing this. We're going to crunch in, touch, out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's all disguised for holding that plank, side plank, for time under tension. Ah, ah. Recoup, reset. I'll see you back for these guys in a split sec. Back for part two. It started to just rain outside. Bruce is out there pawing at the door. So he's joined us. There you go. There you go. Go lie down. Good boy. We're going to lie down right there. Lie down. Here we go. Six again. I think my mic's in a better spot. Oh, I got dog drool on me. Six, six, oh, ew, dog drool, big surge there, lightheaded, let's hit the mat, oh, getting out of breath, Bruce is asleep, side plank snatch, Take it over with you. Nine. Yeah, ten. Oh. Bring it back around. Mic check, mic check. Ah. Okay. Side plank, knee to elbow. Up. Crunch it in. Oh, little water sip, wipe the sweat off. Oh, puke in your mouth, great. Oh, not good. One more time. Here we go. Make sure you have enough air to start. Have we been in focus this whole workout? Okay, here we go. The finish, the finish. 
Bells out in front. You could just be doing this body weight, double the volume, whatever you need to do. This is it. Two more. Uh. Oh. No more legs for a while. Uh, get your air, meet you on the floor. That's intense. Okay, add a breath. Side plank snatch. Make sure you can hold core stability. Spin over. I'm using a 15 pounder. I'd say heaviest could be a 20, all the way down to two, three, five, eights. Doesn't matter. Done with that. Jeez. Up. Every rep contact. Next side. Final ten. That's it. That's it. Work it over. Work it over. Uh oh. Uh oh. You heard it, guys. You heard it. Bruce is coming over. Hey, boy. Mm -hmm. Cardio alert. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Okay, same rules before. It's running season with Bruce here. He puts me to work. I just like running all the time. He's the one that makes me get out there. No excuses, no weather. Let's go for a 20 to 30 minute more than you're used to. So walk, speed walk, sprint intervals, light jog, full length playlist, get out, do it. Have to go out for 20 to 30 minutes. Comment afterwards that you did it. And I'll see you back for workout 18. Here's the little teaser of the special workout coming up. We have to get through two more regular schedule programming first. Like always, I appreciate everyone for being here. Get a whole community to do this. Tell your neighbors, get them all together. Ah, build that peacock army one at a time. See everyone back for the next workout.